this is a video recording. We can just tell the drum. Hi, welcome to my channel, where I share my knowledge on programming the DJI Teledrums with Python. And as you just saw, today we're going to learn how to record our video stream from the Teledrums and save it to an MP4 file. Now, as you can see on your screen here, it's all on GitHub. I have the record video or webcam or Tello video stream, camera streams repository here, and in it is our newly added record.tello py module. Now, if you want to check this out, pull it from GitHub, try it yourself. I'll include it in the description for you to go ahead and do so. If you want to learn out how we did it, let's dive into PyCharm. So here we are in the PyCharm and I've got in front of us the uh, record webcam PY module. Let's review this real quick to see how we're going to implement it over the Telos video stream. So for the webcam recordings, we recreated, uh, created a recordings directory. We're not going to do that for the Tello. We're going to keep things a little more simple. And then after making our recordings directory, we have a function record over webcam. We described how we got our timestamp from the daytime.now object. And then we described our output writer, our output video writer, and then specifications. And then within this, we called our stream video function, which processed our video frames from our webcam and then wrote with our output writer. Things are different with this one because here is record hello and this is the py module that we're going to be working on today i have one function at the top here you can see it says record fellow video stream it's the only function outside of the main function in this module so first let's start with our imports import cv2 dji telepi the tele module and date time open cv for image processing dji telepi for our tele object and date time to get a timestamp so in this function record tele video stream we take in our background frame read object from our Telodrome and an output writer. So before we go into this function, let's go ahead and see where we're passing this. And we're doing this in our main function. In this, we have a detailed comment with the steps here that are outlined. Let's go through each one. So this main is gonna be called the Dunder main. And when it's first called, we create a timestamp using our datetime.now object and we use the straight time method, uh, method to get it in the format we want. We described this in the previous video in more details if you'd like to check that out. After getting our timestamp, we go ahead and initialize our Teledrone object, establish connection with it, and then we turn its stream on. After that, we go down and we create a variable called frame rep, and we set this equal to our drone.get frame read. Now, if you remember from looking in the DJI Telefy library, this is essentially a background frame read object or the background frame read class, which if you look at the Tello module, there's a Tello class and a background frame, frame red class, which is implemented in the Tello class. So this, when we use this, we're gonna be calling dot frame on it so that we get the actual current frame red. Past getting our variable for our background frame read object, we're gonna go ahead and get the dimensions of it. So height, width, and then this additional variable just so we can unpack everything from its shape. We're only concerned with height and width because we need this to create our output writer. So after getting that, we set up our video writer for recording. We're gonna go ahead and do the text a lot more simple this time. We're gonna go ahead and use an F string. We're just gonna have the output file being saved under the timestamp, followed by the text hello recording. And we're gonna save this as an MP4 file. So we specify that as such here. Now, after this, we have additional parameters. We really went into detail on these in our record over webcam video. So please check that out if you'd like. We're gonna just touch on this briefly. So after defining the file name, we have to define the codec to save the file up. That we're gonna specify as mp4b. And this reflects our file extension mp4. And now for the frames per second, we, I think the Teledrone uses 30 by default. So we're gonna go ahead and just specify that as 30. So we can get hopefully real time video feeds and video recordings. Now, Past the frames per second, we have to pass in our capture objects with an eye. In this case, it's our background frame read. And with the output writer, we call that run hello video record hello video stream function, passing in our frame read object and our output writer object. Now let's go into the function and follow the line of execution. So 
we pass our video writer and our background frame read into our record televideo stream. Then we're gonna go ahead and do this in a try block. We're gonna try to do an infinite loop where we process the video frames by calling dot frame on the background frame read. And we're gonna set this equal to a variable we title frame. And what we're gonna use this for is to both show our video stream and write the video stream to an output file. So using this frame, before we show it, we're gonna first go ahead and use our output writers dot write method and write the frame to our output file. Then after this, we show it as we've done before. And then we're gonna go ahead and we change things a little bit here. So if you're familiar with the if wait key one and ox ff equals or eq, that is our wait key to update our frames. So we want to specify that we are saving our video file at 30 frames per second. So to make the equivalent uh, processing here in our function, we're gonna go ahead and set the k wait key to 33. Now, what does 33 specify? That specifies approximately one third of a second to get our 30 frames per second. So that's the best way I can say that to you. Uh, you'll have to play around with this, of course. If you have a different frames per second, you'll have to change this to a different weight key millisecond value. This is what I found best. Let's go with that. So we'll break out of that if the Q key is pressed, and then we'll go ahead and we'll also check if any exceptions are happening so we know where to debug. But finally, Q key is pressed. We wanna make sure that we destroy the windows and release our output writer. Now, following the flow of execution, let's go back into main. And we're gonna go ahead and just print that we're at the end of main and we're calling drone.reboot so that we can reboot our drone, run this again if we want to, and record another video. And that's all there is to it. Now, we'll go ahead and demo this again just so you can see it running in my like, local environment. So I'll connect to the teledrone and we'll get to that. All right, so I lost the video from uh, yesterday because of my poor internet connection. So I'm refilming this demonstration today with a different shirt. So I'm gonna connect to the Tello, and then we'll go ahead and hit run on this, see if we can record a video of my face from the Tello drone. Let's do it. All right, we're connected. Let's hit run on our script. We got our connect command stream on. And once this recording is done, we'll go ahead and view it in our directory on which our project is stored under. And there I am. Hi there, me. Let's go ahead and just hit the Q key. And then we'll see our output file is saved with the timestamp and the text hello recording and the extension .mp4 because it's an mp4 file. Let's go ahead and just play it back. Here's the project directory under my desktop, and there's the recording. And it's not corrupted, and it's playing back pretty good. So we did it. I appreciate you watching this and your support. If you liked it, like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you wanna take this Tello recording to the next level, maybe I can show you how to add a button functionality to our GUI so that we can hit the button and have a recording start press the button again, have it stopped and saved. If you like that, let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.